start off the toasting for this evening, so I'm going to invite him to step up here where I am up on the riser and All right. get things rolling. All right. So, hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So, um, I really want to thank all of you guys for coming out here. Um, to show your support for Kim and my brother. You know, it's really great to see these two families and friends come together as one. Um, and I'd also like to thank Jim and Carol and my mom and dad for putting together the spectacular wedding as well as the spectacular weekend. And so, you know, about, about six months ago, um, my brother came to me and he asked me, you know, do you want to be the best man? And of course I said yes, and, you know, I, I got really excited about it, but then I got nervous, and, you know, the more I thought about it, I was getting pretty nervous. I mean, the crowd's hard to please, you know, and, and, and you know, I was sort of getting, like, a writer's block, and then, so, last night, uh, I went down to the hotel lobby, and I'm, and I'm on the internet, and I just read that, I just type in www.bestmanspeeches.com. <laughs> And for 1995, I think I got a real gem. So, please. I'm just kidding. So, thanks, Greg. So, anyhow, I, I, you know, more I thought about it, the more I got excited, you know, that I had this opportunity to talk about this couple and how great they are and why they should be together. So, I actually can remember the first time, you know, that I heard about Kim. I was in a safe way and I got a call. Uh, and I got a call from, I was probably picking up like a 10 pack of ramen or something. And, and I got a call from my brother and, you know, he had this really excited tone in his voice. And he's like, you know, I met this woman last night. She gave me her phone number and she wanted to go on a hike. And so they went on a hike and you know, the next day I talked to my brother and I said, you know, how, how did that, how did they go? And he's like, well, it went great, you know, I want to pursue the relationship. Um, you know, everything, everything went really well. And uh, I think that them going on a hike on their first date uh, really shows how healthy that their relationship started. <laughs> so, okay. that's, not, that's not funny. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, so then Mike disappeared for, you know, a couple months. You know, we, at first we just thought he was ditching us, and then we were like, well, maybe, you know, Kim and her friends are, are really great, and that, that the latter turned out to be true. Um, so at this point, I had met, met Kim, and my brother invites me to go down and go with Kim and her friends to the Taste of Denver. And so me, me and my brother drive down, and we're standing on the street corner, and you know, we're just shooting the breeze, and, and um, so we see this, this beautiful woman coming our way, and so not like I ever really do this, but I bum my brother, and I'm like, go check her out. And he, I don't do that. And uh, he looks at me with uh, just a huge smile on his face, and he's like, yeah, that's Ken. <laughs> so anyhow, we, we went to the taste of Denver, and you know, I could just see my brother hanging out with Kim and her friends, and they, you know, they'd really taken him in, and it's like they had been friends for a really long time. And I could see why he was down there all the time. And also at that moment, you know, I saw how, how proud my brother was to be dating such a beautiful girl, woman. And, uh, and so, this, you know, but this relationship isn't just a physical relationship, you know, there's a lot more to it. So, anyhow, after... after Gets good. So, um, so anyhow, after college, I moved in with my brother, Jay Madaya, Matt Soderberg, and Chad Moses. And, um, you know, Mike started to disappear every night for like a half an hour. He didn't know, you know, what he was doing. And uh, so, you know, we, we figured out that he was, talking to, he was talking to Kim on the phone. And since Kim lived in Denver and my brother in Boulder, they had this, you know, long distance, you know, you know, on the weekdays, a long distance phone relationship, and then on, on the weekends they'd see each other. And so, you know, they talked 
for at least a half an hour, ha- half an hour every night, and you know they were like teenagers in love. And I think this is where they really grew, you know, a deep connection, both um, intellectually and emotionally. And so everything was re- everything was really coming together. Um, you know, I started hearing about Kim's family, and my brother was spending more and more time over there. And so I was like, oh, you guys must be really getting along. And, and my brother looks at me and he says, every time I go over there, I get a ribeye and my favorite beer. <laughs> And so, and so everything was really coming together. And then, so me and my brother, or my brother and I, went to Germany to visit our parents about a year and a half ago. And we're in a bar and we're just chatting. And kind of out of the blue, my brother says, um, "What do you think of Kim?" And I, of course, I say she's wonderful. And uh, she's, and my brother's like, "Well, I'm planning on getting engaged." And, and so I said, "Oh, that's great." And at this time, this is the first time my brother's applying to graduate school. And um, and so I was like, so when are you, when are you going to do it? And he says, May. And I'm like, well, is this if you figure out if you get in or not? And my brother looks at me and he says, no, it's not about that. And you know what? He's right. You know, in, in such an uncertain future, he wanted to make one thing for sure, and that was to have this love and this beautiful woman in his life forever. And so here we are today. <laughs> And so, Mike, you know, I love you and I'm so proud of you. Um, you know, I've always followed in your footsteps and you've, got, you've done things in your own way and I think that's something that we all, we all respect. I'm, I'm so happy for, for your two future together. You know, it's just great. And so, please with me, uh, let's celebrate the newlyweds. To Kim and Mike. Yeah.